Hi there you guys, my name is Adalia with PerfectStylishCuts.com and today I wanted to create a video to show you how you can create mock-ups in Silhouette Studio version 4. Uh, Silhouette Studio version 4 is the new update for Silhouette Studio. It was just released on May 16th and if you want to see what uh, it's all about and how you can go ahead and get that download and update, just go ahead and look for a link below this video. I will go ahead and post a link to my other video where I show you how you can do that. Uh, now mock-ups uh, are going to be photos uh, that you can go ahead and purchase or take yourself where you can go ahead and upload them onto the computer and then overlay your images that you've either purchased or created yourself, uh, save them together and then show them off to customers and they can see what your finished products would look like. This helps save a ton of time and money uh, and you can go ahead and easily make these using your Silhouette Studio software. Let's go ahead and get started. Just to let you guys know that the uh, designs that I will be using are my own designs that you can purchase at PerfectStylishCuts.com as well as the mock-ups will be part of a new uh, patriotic bundle that I just released. Uh, we do have a few of those freebie mock-ups available for you again on the website at PerfectStylishCuts.com. I hope that you guys like this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little open button and I'm going to look for the photo that I'm going to use today. Now this photo that I'm using actually contains a very cute shirt that I obtained. Um, it's a blank that I use um, for my designs and you can actually get this as well from cabio.com. They are a blanks distributor. Basically, they distribute uh, clothing that is uh, blank. It doesn't have any designs on it. You can purchase these blanks to use them in your shop and sell products uh, that are very consistent uh, in materials and stuff like that. So you don't have to be out and about shopping for blanks at all times. You can just order some in bulk in different sizes or you can go there and order as needed. Um, this one specifically, uh, you can go ahead and obtain on there at a very low price. It's an awesome little shirt for summer. And all you need to get wholesale pricing is your tax ID number. So again, that's caveo.com. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to need to open up is going to be our design that we're going to use. This is the design that you have purchased or created yourself. In this case, it's a purchase file, uh, and you can uh, go ahead and overlay it on top of this so it can look like very realistic, just as if you cut it and pressed it yourself. So again, we go to the open, and then I already know what design I'm going to use, so I'm going to select the PNG file. And now some designs that you purchase come with a PNG file or a JPEG file. If it's a JPEG file, this would not work, you guys. This needs to be done with a PNG. In that case, if you have designer uh, edition and you can open up the SVG file, you can do this with the SVG file as well. But for sure, no JPEGs as JPEGs have a white square around them and it just does not look good. Okay, so the PNG, again, has a transparent background. You can see it right now. Uh, it can, you can see the background on it. It's transparent, okay? So I know that these uh, have opened up on two separate project uh, photos or pages. So now all we have to do to merge them together is select it, go to cut, go to our photo one and select paste. That's it, you guys. It's as easy as that. And now look at it. It's overlaid our photo. It looks beautiful. Now all we need to do is go ahead and resize this. And remember that when you resize it, you know, you could, you could post it like this and it's not going to look believable because you're not going to print a shirt or you're not going to cut your design uh, to be that big. So you want it to be realistic uh, in a size that you would actually cut it out and put it on that shirt. Now this I think is even still a little bit big, but I think it looks good. Let me just adjust it a little bit and there you go. And again, to rotate that, you just need to click on it and then use this little green button and just use your mouse, click on it and use your mouse to rotate it, okay? And get it where it's where it looks its best. Now, just like this, you can go ahead and save this photo um, and it would look great, but what you really need to be able to brand yourself and make sure that your photos stay only on your website and that if they're shared anywhere, it will direct people back to you is that you wanna add a watermark and a logo. 
a lot of people uh, out there have not been using watermarks on their photos and then I see some comments or some posts in different groups you know stating somebody's using my photo or um, things of that nature so you want to go ahead and create a watermark you guys I hear a lot of people saying they don't know how to create a watermark it seems like it's just too hard you have to download an application and you know it's it's too much no you can actually create a watermark in here in Silhouette Studio. I'm gonna show you how right now, okay? So let's go ahead and work on that. So just select the text tool, and I'm going to use my website name. I'm just gonna do perfectstylishcuts.com. I'm going to make this wider so that it fits my words. And then I'm going to make this smaller so that it fits inside of my image like this, oh, let's see here, and then I wanna move it out of there so that I can adjust it a little bit more. I'm also going to highlight it. I'm gonna get rid of that red line because I don't like the way it looks. And then I'm going to select um, black, just regular black, okay? Now, once you've done this, you can overlay it like this, but as you can tell, it kind of distorts the photo a lot, and I just don't like the way it looks. In Silhouette Studio now, you can go ahead and select uh, your text, right click, uh, and then hit convert to path, and this kind of turns it into a photo uh, where you can't edit this anymore. So once you create this, you won't be able to edit this anymore. It now becomes like an image, no longer font, okay? Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and make it transparent. Again, it just does not look good this way, you guys. You want to have a transparent watermark so that your customers can still see your image correctly. So now what you would need to do is select this little paint um, panel, the fill panel, and it'll open this up. And in order to make this transparent, just go ahead and use a transparency uh, scroll down here. And I usually like to go to like a 70 or even an 80%, okay? And again, you can just do this as you please. It does not have to be perfect or anything like that, but you can see now uh, when you place it, you can still see the image behind it. And if you wanted to use a lighter color uh, so that it's not you know, as evident that you're using one, you can definitely do that. I like to use black at like 80%. That's, that's my preference, but again, you can use it as you please. This is just a wonderful way uh, to watermark those photos. Um, now, after this, the other thing that we want to go ahead and include is a logo, and a logo just, you know, makes it look a ton more professional. It looks like you're taking the time to really make sure that these are branded specifically for your boutique. So I am going to just go ahead and open up this little folder again, and I'm going to bring in my logo, uh, and it'll open it up in a separate project window. It'll always do that. Again, just select it, right-click, hit Cut and then go back to your original and paste it. Now, uh, right now you will wanna go ahead and definitely resize this and then just place it in a corner or somewhere where people will still be able to see it. Now this really looks fabulous, you all. You have your design with a really nice blank. It looks realistic as if you took a photo of this yourself. You have it watermarked so people know it's yours and you have your logo leading somebody back to where they can purchase this. That is always the way that you should be making your mock-ups. Um, let's go ahead and save this now. Now, a lot of people will tell me, well, you know what, Adalia, you can't save as a photo from Silhouette Studio, and that's right. You really cannot save this as a photo here in Silhouette Studio. Uh, you can see where you can save it as a studio or as a GSP, neither of which work as a photo. I also see that a lot of people who do mock-ups in studio like to use um, the printer, the PDF printer, but that creates a ton of different kind of files like a PDF and JPEGs, none of which you actually need. I mean, the JPEG is actually, you know, a photo file and stuff like that, but I just think that the quality on them just does not come out great. Okay, so what I like to use is, and for this, you're going to need to have a Windows um, computer, but if you don't have a Windows, I'm sure that Mac has also many uh, screen capture uh, applications that you can use and what I do is that I create my mock-up and then I make it a decent size and then I'm going to open up my snipping tool that's what the screen capture tool is called in Windows and I have Windows 10 but if you have uh, Windows Vista or 
um, Windows 8, you just go ahead and search for it in your search bar. It already comes included. It's an application for Windows. Open that up and then select New SNP. Now it's going to allow me to SNP, basically create a square around the image that it's going to save as an image file. And so I'm going to create that. And now you can see that I have my image created. Now all you need to do from here is select File, Save As. It's already saving it for you as a PNG, which also increases the quality for you compared to a JPEG. And I'm going to save this as All American Babe Mockup um, for now. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit Save. And then that's it. Uh, for right now, I'm going to go close this so that we can go ahead and look at what it looks like. And I'm going to open that photo and you can now see that I have just one photo that I can go ahead and place inside of my shop and such and display this in my social media profiles as well as promote this. If I wanted to create um, a marketing material with it, you can definitely go ahead and use it now. It's a PNG file. It's a photo file that you can upload to your shop as well. All of this was done from within Silhouette Studio version 4. You can see that that was really, really quick to do. I showed you how to go ahead and create that watermark. All you really need to do now is just create more and more of them. Uh, so the more mock-ups that you buy, uh, you know, you can buy them in all different holiday types now. You can buy them in different um, product types, uh, things like that. You can even take your own, really. You want to go ahead and create them in here. It's going to be the quickest and most easiest way. I've used other methods like PicMonkey. I have a video for that as well. I've used an Inkscape. I've done them through Canva. I've done them in Microsoft Publisher. I've done them in a lot of different places, but I got to say that Silhouette Studio is definitely the easiest way for me to create them because I can bring everything together and then just keep bringing in more file types and creating more mockups really easy. So like, for example, you know, we have this one ready. If I wanted to make another one for this shirt, I would just ungroup this, remove this specific design, and I would bring in another design. Okay, so for example, I could bring in, let me just pick another file type here, uh, and let me see, I will pick another one of my designs, and I will just pick the PNG image, it'll bring that up for me, again, cut it, and then paste it, minimize that a little bit, rotate it, whoops, rotate it to where it looks realistic and I'm going to send it backward so that it could be behind my uh, watermark and actually I'm just going to bring that forward and there you go I would probably move my watermark just slightly so that it's not um, distorting my design there you go but you can see that it's easy to just create multiple of them at one time now again all i would do is right click group go to my snipping tool do a new snip and then just snip this one as well okay and then i would just go to file save as and now we have i'm just going to name that that and now we have a second mock-up. So and this was all really, really easy to create, you guys. It looks wonderful. It's always my pleasure to go ahead and help you guys out. If there is anything else at all that you need, please do not hesitate to let me know. Again, my name is Adalia. You can find all of these links to these products underneath this video. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.